very warm good morning to all of you and welcome back in our biology session so in today's biology session we are going to start our new lesson and the name of the lesson is what reproduction in plants okay so in this lesson we are going to discuss that how the plants are showing the reproduction process okay which are the different ways by that the plants are showing the reproduction okay so before going to start the lesson let's revise what is mean by reproduction the production of new individuals from their parent is known as reproduction okay so what is mean by the reproduction so the production of new individuals from their parents and that process is known as what reproduction so in this particular lesson we are going to discuss about the reproduction in plants means how the plants give rise to the new plants or give rise or how the plants are getting developed from the old plant that only we are calling as what reproduction okay so basically the plants are getting their reproduced with the help of the different types so let's discuss the first point that is what modes of reproduction is how the plants are getting reproduced with the help of the different processes or with the help of the different methods before that in your last standard or in the sixth standard you have discussed about the parts of a plant you have discussed about the deeply about roots stem leaves okay also you have discussed about the buds nodes which are present on the stem so all these are the parts of a plants which are called as what vegetative parts okay all these parts of a plants are called as what vegetative parts of a plant but this vegetative parts of a plant also helps to reproduce the so plant okay so that we are going to see in the next session so now all these roots stem and the leaves all are the vegetative parts of a plant it means what they helps the plant to grow okay they helps the plants to grow but along with all these plant or the along with all these parts there is a one more part that is what flowers which is very beautiful very pretty and very important parts of a plant okay so this flower is not help or this flower is doesn't get used for the vegetative growth okay but this flower plays a vital role in the process of reproduction okay in the process of reproduction why because might be you have seen that if there is a some fruit for trees are there in your in your house then you have seen that first the trees are bearing the flowers and after that the flowers get converted into the fruit okay so it means what the flower helps to produce the fruits which helps to produce the seed and with the help of that seed we can grow the new plants so it means what the flower is a very important part of plant which helps in the process of reproduction and that is the reason the flowers are called as reproductive organ reproductive part of a plant okay the flower is called as what reproductive part of a plant okay so this flowers might be sometimes the flower contain both the male part and the female part okay means both the reproductive organ it can contain the male reproductive organ also and can contain the female reproductive organ also but in other cases what we can say that the flower might be contain only male reproductive organ or only female reproductive organ okay so two cases will be there in the first case is what we can say that the flower contains both the male and the female reproductive organ in the flower and in the second case what we can say either it contain male reproductive organ or either it contain female reproductive organ okay so it is very important thing it is a key word that you have to keep in your mind that is what the flower is known as what reproductive organ of a plant or reproductive part of a plant okay so according to uh, so according to that the basically the plants are getting divided into two parts on the modes of reproduction okay on the modes of the reproduction the plants are getting divided into two categories so plants are there which get asexually reproduce while as others get reproduce sexually okay so now what is mean by asexual and sexual next one so let us discuss the definition so the plants which can reproduce without seed okay what without seed okay 
the plants which can get reproduced without use of the seed or without seed then that type of the reproduction is called as what asexual reproduction next one the plants which can get reproduced by the use of seed what use of seed okay then that type of the reproduction is called as what sexual reproduction so very important things to really you have to keep in the mind is that what the in the asexual reproduction there is no need of seed okay without seed we can reproduce the new plant but in a sexual reproduction there is a need of the seed with the use of a seed only we can produce a new plant so these are the two important thing you have to keep in mind in the sexual reproduction there is a no need of the seed but in a sexual reproduction there is a need of a seed without seed we cannot produce a plant okay so these are the two modes of the reproduction that are a sexual reproduction and a sexual reproduction among these first we are going to discuss about the asexual reproduction so this asexual reproduction again having certain part types okay that are vegetative propagation fragmentation budding and spore formation among these all these are we are going to see briefly one by one so today we will start with the first method of asexual reproduction that is nothing but what vegetative propagation okay now what is mean by vegetative propagation so as we know we have discussed just now that is what root stem leaves buds all these are the parts of a plant which helps the plant to grow as a vegetative or all these are the parts of a plants which are helps to give the vegetative growth of the plant and that is the reason these parts of a plants are called as what vegetative parts okay so in this vegetative propagation what happens the reproduction is takes place with the help of this vegetative parts okay which are the vegetative parts root stem leaves and buds okay so the reproduction is takes place with the help of this all vegetative parts then that type of a reproduction is called as what vegetative propagation what vegetative propagation what because vegetative parts are used for the reproduction that is the reason that production is called as what reproduction is called as what vegetative propagation so let's discuss what is my exactly vegetative propagation okay so now let's discuss about the vegetative propagation so if we talk about the vegetative propagation it get again sub classified as a natural vegetative propagation and the artificial method of vegetative propagation and in the natural vegetative propagation in the method of the natural vegetative propagation again there are the sub points that is what vegetative propagation by stem vegetative propagation also takes place by roots and the vegetative propagation also takes place by leaves so all these sub categories we are going to see deeply one by one so first we will start with the vegetative propagation by stems okay vegetative propagation by stem so this vegetative propagation by the stem again having sub points or the sub classification first one you will see that stem tuber okay stem tuber means what for example we can say that what potato so if you have seen the potato or seen the image of the potato you can see that buds which are present on the potato and that buds they are called as what eye okay so if you planted that cut potato which contain the eye on it into the moist soil then that each bud or then that each eye is starting to grow as a new plant or starting to grow as a new individual okay so that is the first we have discussed about what stem tuber and why the potato is called as tuber because it is so much bulky it is so much thick okay and that's the reason it is called as what tuber and it contains the bud on their body okay and that each bud if you more transplant into or if you transfer into the soil then it started to grow as a new plant so this is about the first vegetative propagation by stem that we have discussed about the stem tuber and if we talk about the tuber then the first example that we come see in our mind that is nothing but what potato next one we will discuss that stem bulb now what is mean by the bulb we it is also the underground stem okay and when for example we can say as what onion okay then why it is called as bulb then why it is not called as tuber because these stems bulb is what these are the underground stem 
which contains the word word that word is present inside it okay so see here onion carrot can see that inside the innermost part of the onion is there in that there is a bud which grow as a new individual which started to grow as a new individual okay so that is why it is called as potato tuber that onion bud why the onion bud because the bud is present inside the stem okay bud is present inside the onion and that's the reason it is called as bud next one we will discuss about the rhizome rhizome is nothing but what underground stem for example we can say ginger is there turmeric is there okay so why they are called as rhizome because they grow horizontally and they grow as a any way okay they are growing in the underground uh, horizontally and growing any how so these rhizomes also contains the buds and the scaly leaves or each and from that each bud we can grow the new plant okay so this is the first sub classification about the vegetative propagation by stem we have discussed that is what stem that what tuber stem bud that is what we have discussed about onion then rhizome for example ginger and uh, we are we can say that turmeric is also there now we we'll move for the next one that is what vegetative propagation by roots okay vegetative propagation by roots for example we can say as what sweet potato okay so this sweet potato also country that is nothing but what very important thing student keep in the mind that is what potato is what stem why uh, sweet potato is a root okay it is a underground root always the root is underground only but here we can say that what potato is a underground stem why the sweet potato is what roots okay so if you cut this root which contain the bud and transfer it into the moist soil then that each part of the root is started to grow as a new plant okay so you can see in the image how that sweet potato is having the buds and from that buds how the new plants are growing so with the help of that with the help of the underground root with the help of buds which are present on it we can produce the new plant with the help of this vegetative propagation next one we will discuss about what vegetative propagation by leaves okay vegetative propagation by leaves here we can say that here i will show you first example that is what bryophyta here in the image you can see that so you can see that on the margin of the leaves there are the buds okay on the margin of the leaves there are the buds and when these buds get detached from the leaf and get fall into the moist soil then that bud started to grow as a new plant okay so in this way we can do the reproduction of the plants with the help of the leaves then that of interest comes under what vegetative propagation okay so these are all about what vegetative propagation but which method of the vegetative propagation we have seen natural method of the vegetative propagation okay so now here we will stop we'll meet in the next video with the next point and for today thank you